Hey there everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Viking Wizard here. Double unboxing video for you. So I'm going to be unboxing the brand new studio album from the English heavy metal band Formway back in, I believe it was 1969. Um, this is their 19th studio album, Invincible Shield, Judas Priest. So I'm unboxing two versions, the Amazon exclusive and the Digipack version. They're from my neck of the woods because they're from Warsaw, which is not far from where I was born, which is obviously Birmingham. So they're from the Midlands, which... um. As everybody calls people from like Dudley, Warsaw, um, West Brom, um, Wolverhampton and whatnot, they call them Yam Yams and then we call Brummies because I'm from Birmingham. But I'm um, still technically the same, just different parts of the Midlands. So I can't wait to get into this. Super excited. I've actually listened to one song off this. I've listened to Panic Attack because I've not been able to stop playing it. Let's move that laptop out of the way. And it's absolutely fantastic. It's an incredible song. And if you actually listen to that song, you could mistake it and put it off for a power metal song. So I can't wait. I'm just curious which one am I going to do first. So I'll do the Amazon exclusive. It just says the Metal Guards brand new studio on Invisible Shield alternative artwork. So it's the alternative version, which is cool. When I seen it available for people on Amazon, I've just seen the two different versions and it just says alternative artwork. I'm Amazon exclusive. I thought I'm definitely pre-ordering that because I want that version. And then I want the standard edition. So there's the alternative artwork. <coughs> Pardon me, you've got the back with the track listing. Oh, that's cool. The artwork. You know what? I'm thinking that Judas Priest Invincible Shield is going to go perfect for a tattoo. So that's a perfect tattoo idea. Where's your disc? There's a disc, awesome. Then we have the book, which is cool. So there's the book, which is cool. So you've got the track list, should I say the, oh, this one just tells you who Judas Priest are, which everybody knows who they are, but you get Rob Alfred vocals, Glenn Tipton guitar, Richie Faulkner guitar, Ian Hill, bass and drums, and Scott Travis on drums, which is awesome. It was a shame about KK Downing not in the band anymore, which is a shame, but lyrics and this artwork is incredible. Their last one, Firepower, I thought was brilliant, but just from this artwork, I know it's going to be a great album. And even at their the age, because I believe Rob Alfred's in his 70s, even their age now, they're still bringing out fantastic albums and making awesome stuff. Lyrics, I really can't wait to get into the rest of this album, give it a listen. And I've got it in the basket on Amazon on vinyl, so we'll be picking up a copy on vinyl. But from what I've heard of that one track, I want to get various different ones, so like coloured vinyl and all that sort of stuff. And then you have the rest of the artwork, which as that falls out into one, which is awesome. So yeah, that has been the Amazon exclusive edition. So now let's get into this digibook edition. There's nothing different other than the artwork. Um, obviously me, for collectors, yeah, you will get all different versions. For somebody who's just um, <clears throat> casual, who just wants a CD, you obviously wouldn't get all different versions. You just get the one version. Or I will try and see if I can get a copy of this in a standard jewel case. Maybe some country like Russia or Europe or something does see standard jewel case edition so I can get that one in my collection. I'm actually wearing a um, Screaming for Vengeance shirt at the moment. And I believe it's the 19th. I keep getting the dates mixed up, so I'm going to have to have another look after. But the 19th in Birmingham, it's in Ward Resorts Arena. It's Judas Priest, Saxon and Uri Heap. I'm seeing all three. Judas Priest, that'll be my fir third time. Bloody cannot wait. Don't really want to swear because of, you know... Um, YouTube don't fancy a ban or something I'm not sure if you're allowed but then Saxon will be my second time because the first time I've seen them at Bloodstock they're incredible not been able to stop listening to them Uriah Heap now I don't know much about Uriah Heap but I've got one of their I believe it was a generic best of by some company and I've listened to it and I enjoyed it so I've been listening to their stuff recently and dip, fully dipping into that band more so I'm going to be looking for their stuff physical so I'll be getting to them getting them in my collection but this is the Gigi book, and I can't wait. I will be getting a, a review video done on the Judas Priest Saxon and Uriah Heap, and I'll be recording a little bit of footage, like a minute or something, of each band, just so I can 
get them on my YouTube channel so everybody can see the venue and all that sort of epic stuff. There's the awesome artwork. You've got the same as the other one. More than likely, this is just the same with the book. So, yeah, it's just the same with the lyrics and stuff like that, as you can see. But there may be a couple of things in here which are not in that one. So, I'm really not sure if I actually seen. There's some more of the lyrics and artwork. There's a picture in here that I've just literally seen. And I'm not okay, that's cool. I'm not sure if it was in the other book just then. And that is oh that's cool. A motorcycle. I'm not sure if that was in the other one, but I'm guessing it's just the same. I reckon all that store sort of stuff. It was just the what you call it, the front cover which is different. There's the back bit and then the cds in here which i'm guessing it's not yellow it is red so the cd just got the red logo instead of the yellow which is cool so that's completely different then we have <clears throat> the same as the front which is awesome so yeah this has been judas priest invincible shield like i do with every video i'm going to put a link in the description just for somebody who comes across this video doesn't know nothing about the band because there's guaranteed people that just getting into music that want to metal and just want to check bands out these are probably like the godfathers of heavy metal along with um the ones who started the heavy metal movement i'd literally say the ones that started it were sabbath they're not heavy metal but them are the ones that started with all the riffs and all that sort of stuff and influenced all the bands but the very first heavy metal band i'd say is judas priest obviously with like british steel but i hope you all enjoyed this unboxing video um if you are new to this channel if you would like to like and subscribe hit that notification bell all of that sort of epic stuff because it's mainly as i said unboxing videos album reviews gig reviews talk about the bands i love show off my collection tattoos because of the last one I had was Saxon, and I'm actually planning on a Judas Priest. I'm just thinking what priest do I want. But why am I actually thinking something like that as the um one which is cool? And then I'll be getting an, a maiden tattoo on this arm. So this one's all mixture of all mixture of bands. Then I've got my leg, which is a power symphonic. So far I've got a hammer fall and sabaton. And then the other one's just going to be all mixed. So you'll have my favourite team, Manchester United. And then this is all going to be like fantasy based. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm going to go and give this a listen now. I'm probably going to go with the Amazon exclusive. And then I'll put that in my poll to listen to. And I'll give that a listen at a later date. Like a couple of days later. But I can't wait to listen to the um, album again. As I've said, I have listened to this album. Because Turn From Work, I've listened to it, to it twice over. I think I did. Yeah. And oh so you get ex bonus tracks to digipack you get three extra tracks which i didn't know so that's cool so that's the extras on the digipack edition so yeah hope you all enjoyed this and i'll catch you in the next video i've literally just unboxed the new bruce dickinson solo album and i'm about to unbox a brand new sonata article album so hope you all enjoyed this and i'll catch you in the next one so viking business signing off have a good one and i shall see you later and take care